Hello and welcome back to the No Opinion News Network where we give you the news and leave our opinions out the door. I'm your host Chris and today is your Monday, December 21st daily news briefing. All I ask is please like and subscribe to the channel so YouTube will recommend my videos to others. Well, it's a big day. Big day for stimulus. Uh, Steven Mnuchin, the Treasury Secretary, did an interview this morning for um, news stations and we've got some details of what's going on um, just uh, what he said was that there was 325 billion dollars for small businesses and PPP expenses are tax deductible that's good news so if you buy something with that money that they give you for free you can still claim it on your taxes over 80 billion dollars to schools to help them get open safely there's rental assistant aid. Um, basically, they're going to give you money to pay your back rent and your back utility bills. This will be not through the federal government. He said do, they're going to turn this over to the states, so you will apply through the states, so you don't have to deal with the federal government on this one. And the big news, direct deposits for $600 are set to be sent out next week so it's possible you may see them before the new year if you have direct deposit so everything is in place the house will be voting today the senate will be voting today and the president will be signing this bill into law and this is the omni omnibus bill which includes not only the stimulus package but also the government spending bill up till september of next year so Good news for that. I know a lot of people are complaining that it's only $600. Yes, I wish it was more, but at this point, yeah, I'll, I'll take anything that you can give me. I'll take the breadcrumbs, perhaps in a month or two. We might see something else. I don't know. But right now, I'm glad they at least got a little bit passed because this is also going to take care of, you know, the people facing eviction, uh, President Trump already extended the uh, student loan forbearance till the end of uh, January. So it looks like everything is set up that they'll probably do something else when uh, Joe Biden takes office. We'll see what happens with that. But it, it is going to pass today into law. Um, as far as coronavirus goes, the UK is experiencing a new supercharged mutation of the virus uh, what this means is it's easier to catch and you can catch it quicker than normal um, Europe has already closed its borders to London because they don't want to deal with it uh, government Cuomo is uh, requesting some type of federal rule or assistance so that flights cannot come in from the UK um, the UK had on Sunday, yesterday, 35,000 new cases uh, just in one day. The week before on Sunday, they had around 18,000 new cases. So it's almost doubled in one week. So I guess uh, this mu new mutation is spreading a lot quicker. Also on that front, let me pull this up for you. As you can see, more countries have detected the mutated UK coronavirus strain. So it's already left the UK. It's going to be global, uh, you know, in a matter of weeks. It's just now a question of is this more deadlier or is it just something that spreads quicker and is basically the same virus that is already out there, just a, a faster spreading virus. That's what it is expected to be. We'll, we'll keep following that and see what's going on with that. Now, as far as hospitalizations in the U.S., as you can see, they are at 113,663. Good news about that is it's actually getting lower. It, it's uh, uh, Yesterday, it was 100 or 
Where is it? There it is. Yesterday it was 114,459. So it's dropped 800 from yesterday. So that's good news. Currently in the ICUs, there's 21,761. And currently on ventilators, 7,695. So good news there. Looks like the, that's starting to, starting to fall a little, little bit. And let's see, as far as cases go in the U.S., you'll notice it's starting to drop also there. We're averaging 217, 630. And as far as deaths go, not a drop, but more of a level off at 2,625 cases per day averaging. And if we move on to worldwide, We'll also see a slight drop, not really a drop. I, you know, it does go down a little bit, but it may just be a leveling off. So they are averaging 639,435 new cases per day. And as far as the deaths go, they also, it's more of a leveling off, not a drop. They're averaging 11,360 new deaths per day so that is what's going on with covid so let's move on to in case you missed it today is the 21st and get, that means the christmas star is coming out tonight this is uh something that happens i think they said once every 800 years so you're not going to see it again in your lifetime so if you look out just above the horizon after sundown in the southwestern skies, the uh, Jupiter and Saturn will start to align and they will appear as a super bright star. So that's some, some something good, something exciting. And also that with the fact that stimulus is going to be done today and checks are going to be out next week. We might go into, well, also the cases of coronavirus are, are, looks like they're coming down, hospitalizations coming down. So let's hope we go into the year 2021 on a positive note. It's almost at the year end. Hey, I just started this channel in October, but I really do appreciate you guys helping me out and watching watching the show. It's been, you know, it's been fun to do. I love as I mentioned before, I lost my job back at the end of March, also due to the virus, and have not been able to find a gainful employment since then, so I decided to start this, and just to keep you guys informed and let you know what's going on, and it gives me something to do also. Well, that is all I have for you. I want to thank you for tuning in to the No Opinion News Network. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe so you know when I go live or upload another video. My name is Chris. This has been your Monday, December 21st daily news briefing. I want to wish you a wonderful day. Take care.